Hello, my name is Sergei Mysin and this is my level, the house of Simon. First we approach the front door and get the message that it's locked and we need to find a different way. So we go right here and find this fuse and plug it into the fuse box. And uh, this opens this door and uh, basically opens the way to the basement. Here we see uh, the generator and we need to find a missing button. Mm, the button is right here. We pick it up, plug it in and repeat the pattern by pressing E on the buttons. Then we get rid of these obstacles. We can mm, find a hidden collectible right here and proceed to the next floor. Here we uh, can explore the rooms, find collectibles and find this button. We'll need it to, uh, for, for our next setup. Here it is, we plug it into this fuse box and here we have to also plug these batteries right here to get access to the chest. Now the chest opens and we can pick up the button from the elevator control panel and take it to the next floor. Plug it right here and repeat the pattern. This way we go down to our secret underground level. And we have to repeat the pattern again by throwing these balls into the pipes. Here we can see some extra visuals representing our transition system and here as well we can find another hidden collectible. And this is the way we exit my level and go to the next level. Hello everybody, my name is Devin Rhodes and this is my level, The Mansion. So you'll come right out here and you'll see objectives to finding the crowbar and getting inside the house. The crowbar will be right here in front of us and we can start making our way over to the house. First off, there's a small shed over here that if the player decides to move this crate next to it, we'll be able to sneak inside and grab this collectible. hop our way right out of there. Moving on, we'll come right up to the house and we'll press E to open up the door with the crowbar. Now inside the house we see that we need to find three keys and get our way to the medical ward. Looking up over here, we will see the three keyholes in the wall and also if we peer through this window, we'll see the transition system to the next level. Start heading over here and we'll explore the house a little bit to see if we can find where the keys are hiding. In here we'll enter this bedroom. Oh, looks like we got a VHS tape of Shrek right there. We'll fall down here down into the kitchen and it looks like we have to pick up these discs and shoot them into the holes. 
out the one on the left. And the one on the right. Opening up the box and we'll be able to grab the blue key. Heading out of here, let's see what we got over here on the left. Crouch our way in. Looks like another chest and this one can be opened up using the crowbar. Excellent. We'll head back upstairs to see if we can find the third key. Looks like we're looking for the green one and I see some green light right over here so that should be what we're looking for. All right, there it is, the third key. Now we're ready to get through the door. We'll have to repeat the puzzle. We can hit E to play it again to make it a little bit easier. One, two, three. All right, now we'll be able to hop on the transition system and head over to the next level. Hello everyone, my name is Christian Gutierrez and here's my level, the Medical Ward. So the first thing that you have to do is come to the front door, press E to open it, and then right here you will find the first collectible that if you can see is an ancient coin that is shining and you can take it, and then you can crouch to get inside to the main room. So you will see that we have three keypads that we need to find also three key cards to get inside the lobby office. So as you can see, we have here uh, a fuse box that says that we have to replace, uh, to find the fuse to get power back. So if you see on this couch, you see another collectible, and if you come here to get it, you will see the fuse behind the couch. So you will use the grab -on to take the fuse, and then come to the fuse box and place it. So now that we have power, uh, we have to find the three keys uh, to put it in the keypads. So the first key is located here, is the yellow one. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna leave it in front of the door. And here's the second key card, that is the red one. I'm gonna leave it here. And then if you see on top of the lobby office, there's some particle effects that you might think like, what's that? So if we go upstairs, you will see a volume saying, let's try hitting that plank with these cubes. So I have this, these cubes right here that we can grab with the grab -nol, and it shoot this thing. And now we can go to the top of the lobby office. So here you can find the last key card, I'm just gonna drop it down, and then you can use this cube to hit this plank and then get another collectible and now we have to face the first puzzle of my level so if you press E here next to the button you will see that it shows blue yellow red so I'm just gonna grab the blue key and then put it in the right place then the yellow key place it right here and then I'm gonna take the last one to complete the puzzle so after that now we have access to the lobby office that you can press E to open the door and you will find this file that says dormitories room 113. So what you have to do is come to the dormitories, open this door and then you have to locate the girl's room and find a way to get in. So as you might remember uh, the file said 113. So the room is here but you see that the door is broken. So you can see some collectibles right there and there's a hole on that wall. So to get inside you have to go to the next room and then you will see this sh shining object that is a collectible. So you will have to use the grab to move this dresser and then crouch to get inside. After that you have to find the hiding room and collect the Calvary key. So what you have to do is use the grab to move this nightstand, crouch again and then you find the hiding room. So you collect the Calvary key, and then you have to go all the way back to the main room to find 
the Calvary room. So we open this door, and then behind the lobby office, we have the Calvary room. So let's open this door, and then we have to find the director's key. So here they used to uh, test with their patients uh, to find the cure, so you can see dead bodies here. And if you see, we have a particle effect that we can move this door to then crouch to find another hidden room to collect some ancient coins. So I'm just gonna go back to continue with our main objective to find the director's key. So I'm just gonna open this door and then we found the director's key. So I'm gonna take it and also this collectible and I'm gonna go upstairs to open the director's office. So I open this door and then it says collect the basement key. So the basement key is, lo is located inside, oh, I'm sorry, uh, inside this safe. So as you can see, we have this file on this desk that says code blue, red, yellow. So as you can see, we have this book that is red, another one that is blue, and the last one that is yellow. So I'm just gonna use the gravel to take this book out and you hear the sound that you did something right and then you grab the second one and after that the last one so you hear the explosion that the safe now is open and you can get the basement key and a collectible so you just have to go to the main room to open the this door that will lead us to the basement and it says collect the girl's ring as proof of her death so you will find that the daughter of the vast is dead so as a proof you have to find the ring that she was using so you will find it inside this sweet case that you will find also two collectibles and now you have to find a way to escape from my basement so you will use this grab and all this barrel to push it right here and then press E to explode this wall and here's the end of my level and I'm gonna proceed to the next level. Hello, my name is Javier Martin, and this is my level. You first start by dropping into the metro station, and it uh, automatically tells you that you have to find the vast briefcase with the cure. And the second one is to reestablish power to the metro station. So we go ahead and get the fuse, put it in the fuse box, and that gives uh, power to the station. Then we go ahead and uh, get the uh, next fuse and bring it into the control room. Alright. And then the last fuse to establish power into the control room and we can uh, see what happens once the power is established. That takes care of objective 3. Then we go to the monitors and we can press E to turn them on and now we see that there's a there's an opening on top of the train that we can use to get inside alrighty so let's use the crate to get on top of the train once on top we can get the scrap metal and jump inside once we're inside, we see a shiny uh, red item that we can pick up, and that is the Bass Briefcase with the Cure. Alright, and we can try to press these buttons, but if the fuses aren't, aren't in place, uh, the doors will not open. So let's grab both of the fuses, put them in their fuse boxes, and try that again. 
now we are able to get off the train but since the trains on a slant you won't be able to you'll have to use the other door all right once you're off uh, you see an objective the only objective that hasn't been cleared yet is the elevator so let's go ahead and use that we first snap in the button we see a sequence we grab the fuses and we put them in place there it is and lastly the third one here goes into the red once all three are in place um, we do see these uh, yellow squares on the platform so let's use these batteries that match the color and snap them into place and if we need guidance on this particular uh, mechanic there is a note on the wall next to the button that gives us this information it says oh remember that it needs the button batteries and fuses to work so let's go ahead and use the elevator We can press E to go up. The elevator does go up, opens up the door. Now we are on the second floor and we have a new objective that says find the three pieces uh, and attach them to the train. This barrel looks dangerous, so why, why don't we go ahead and use this? It explodes that wall. And we can uh, get the first piece, which is the pentagraph, and it says that it goes on top of the train. So let's throw that down there for now, since we're going to have to attach it later. Then we have these uh, items that we can throw to the uh, lighting fixtures to cross over. And there's a dead police officer and a burnt out car with some uh, collectibles around. So let's grab that, his cash collectible. And now we have two keys. We have an exit key and a maintenance key. So we can use uh, those eventually in the game. Uh, as we crawl through, we find that there's another piece here, which is the jack. So let's crouch and move forward. There we go. We got part. Uh, we got past the obstacles, and we're good. And now we use the plank again to get over to the other side. And now with the maintenance room key in the inventory, we can open this door and grab the wheels. The wheels will uh, also be used on the train so we jump down let's start with the wheels or we can start with the pentagraph pentagraph uh, has a ghost silhouette of it on top of the train let's throw it that way and it snaps right in then we go ahead and use the jack the jack uh, the ghost silhouette of the jack is in front of the train here so let's throw it there and lastly we can use the wheels and the wheels should snap right into place there there we go and now let's try to uh, get back into the control room and see if this lever now it says this lever releases the train but only if it's repaired which we have repaired it so let's press E and see what happens so you can see the train does uh, shift forward so it has been repaired and it exposes our last mechanic so let's see here um, it says that we repaired the train and exposed the emergency exit door so we see a fuse fuse box let's put that in and now we have a button let's go ahead and snap it in and it shows a sequence which is red blue green and yellow and this note here says uh, make sure you don't destroy all batteries because no sh no new shipments are coming in and what that means is basically if you put it into the wrong spot like I just did there they do disappear so you have to be really careful to elevate the batteries and put them in the right position because if not you'll um, 
you will run out of batteries. So it's really important that you do it correctly. All right, and lastly, we are in the exit of uh, the level, but you see that it's all blocked off here. We can't get through, so let's use the elevator. And now we can press the button, we go up, and the elevator doors open, and the scrapper escapes into the city, and with the cure in hand, he can approach the, the hospital, and with that cure, they will possibly be able to save humanity.